Hello everybody, Dan Palumbo here again. How are you? I hope all is well. Today we're going to be talking about a DADC miscompare. Yeah, digital air data computer. Let's do that. So the digital air data computer, you know there's two of them. We'll go to the sensor page and you'll see DADC1 and DADC2. So DADC1 is working off of the left side. DADC2 is working off of the right side. Okay, we're going to be demonstrating a DADC miscompare here. I've got the simulator session set up so that at 8,000 feet, we're going to have a left pitot tube block. All right, let's set up the scenario. We're going to climb to 11,000 feet in a moment. Right now, we're 5,000 feet. We're on a heading, basically north. LNAV, we're going direct to a waypoint, and we're manual speed 250 knots. I'm going to climb to 11,000. Once we get to 8,000 feet, we'll have that left pedo blockage occur. When you're on a climb and you have a left pedo blockage, the airspeed indicator is going to act like an altimeter and increase. So we have uh, a DADC, it's a digital air data computer, it's two air data computers, and they're talking to each other always, and they're comparing one to the other. So we got uh, ADC1, Air Data Computer 1, Air Data Computer 2, we call it a DADC, Digital Air Data Computer. They're talking to each other continuously. If one of the DADCs is sensing something different than the other DADC, the computer is going to say, wait a minute, I don't know what's going on. Uh, this one says one thing, this says another, uh, I'm done, I'm going to turn off and uh, you fly. Well, when that happens, you're going to lose your yaw damper. You'll lose your autopilot. You're going to lose your command bars. You won't have a heading. You'll have LNAV. You'll have nothing. You have to do what pilots do, and that's fly. Well, that could be pretty deceiving, because if you have an increasing airspeed here, your first thought is to do what? Reduce the throttle, bring the nose up, and slow that airspeed down. Well, in this situation, that could be deadly, because this airspeed indicator is wrong, and you'll notice that on this airspeed indicator on the right side, which is going to be the correct one, that the airspeed is starting to decrease. And we can make that situation worse by bringing the throttle back and coming up on the nose. And I'll demonstrate that and show you. When the digital air data computers don't talk to each other anymore and you have to fly the airplane, somebody has to figure out what the problem is. The pilot flying is the pilot flying the airplane. The pilot not flying is going to have to take a look to see which air data computer is incorrect. How do we do that? Well, we match digital air data computer number one on the left side and digital air data computer on the right side to, in this case, the airspeed indicator. So we take a look at the airspeed of digital air data computer two compared to the standby. We take a look at the airspeed on the left side, the pilot side, compare it to the standby. And whichever one matches, that's the one that's correct. And then what do you have to do? Well, you need to come up to the sensor page and switch, in this case, DADC1 to DADC2. But you still have problems. You still will not be able to put your yaw damper on. You still won't have your autopilot. You won't have a heading. You won't have LNAV. You won't have any of that until you take the evil out of the system. How do you take the evil out of the system? You're going to have to pull the DADC1 circuit breaker and after you do that, since you've taken the evil out of the system, you'll be able to engage your yaw damper, your autopilot, you can have your heading back or LNAV, everything will work just fine. But there's two other problems. Pressurization works on what? Air data computer one, correct? Before you take off and you want to check your pressurization, you say I'm in flight, auto, and ADC one. Yeah, so we're going to have to change Air Data Computer 1 to Air Data Computer 2 for the proper pressurization. And what else works off of Air Data Computer 1? Yeah, the transponder, the encoding altimeter. So we have to change the transponder from ATC1 to ATC2. All right, let's demonstrate this. Let's set 11,000 feet in the altitude selector. There's 11,000 feet. We'll do flight level change. And we'll start our climb. Little throttles will move up a little bit. Pitch will start to come up. And here we are on our climb. Now, like I said, I've pre-programmed this so that it happens at 8,000 feet. 
the first thing you're going to see is a bunch of cast messages and you're going to lose your command bars and your autopilot and one of the messages here is going to be a blue message which I think should be red a blue message that says DADC miscompare when that happens you have to take out your QRH go to the blue tab select DADC miscompare and read what it says to do so here we are we're 7,500 feet any moment now it's going to hit there's 8,000, and now watch. Airspeed's taken off. Air data computers are talking to each other, and it says, hey, uh, I don't like what's going on. And then all of a sudden, you get this message. You get a comparison message. Indicated airspeed. One on the right says 236 and decreasing. One on the left is doing what? Looks like it's increasing as we're climbing. I'm going to continue to help us climb here. But we lost our autopilot, we lost our yaw damper, we have no heading, we can't put anything back on. So now what do we do? We take a look. Who's right? 220? 220? This is 284, this is 220. Who's right? The right side. So we'll go up here, the display controller, the sensor page, digital air data computer, and we'll select digital air data computer 2. When we do that, we'll see an amber DADC2 on the left PFD and the right PFD. Now we can be a pilot. Pitch plus power equals performance, right? So we'll fly the airplane. At least we'll try to fly the airplane. Auto throttle will work. I'm going to descend here, but I got no vertical speed. Uh oh, I want help. I want the autopilot. Oh, I got no autopilot. I have no heading, I have no command bars. Well, pitch plus power equals performance, so we'll fly the airplane. The pitch trim, the electric pitch trim, will work just fine. But we have the evil in the system. We need to take the evil out of the system. How do we do that? Well, before we do that, a couple of things we need to consider. First off, let's take a look at the cast message. DADC miscompare. That's a blue message. I actually think it should be a red message, but it's a blue message. Before we pull the circuit breaker, air data computer one. So I want to change air data computer one to air data computer two for pressurization. And I want to go down here to ATC and change it from ATC one to ATC two. hard to fly the airplane and do all this at the same time. Like I said, pilot flying should be flying, pilot monitoring should be doing this for you. But we're trying. All right, so we've changed the pressurization, we've changed the transponder, we're now both on DADC2, but I still can't engage anything. Can't do anything, don't have my autopilot. So what do we need to do? Take the evil out of the system. Inside the QRH, if you take a good look at it, it tells you to go to DADC failures, Echo Alpha 36. We have flagged and we have unflagged. This, my friends, is an unflagged DADC miscompare. Why? Because there's no red X over the airspeed or over the altimeter or the vertical speed. So it's an unflagged situation. Reading all of this tells us to do exactly what I just told you. So we changed everything over. We're now working on DADC2, so we can fly the airplane at least. And then, since we're going to be pulling that circuit breaker, we changed air data computer 1 to air data computer 2. ATC from ATC1 to ATC2. But to get all of our goodies back, and to get our automation back, we need to pull the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker is right behind the co-pilot, so I'm going to reach over here, excuse my belly, and I'm going to pull DADC1 circuit breaker. I do that it will tell me clearly DADC1 fail. So we took out the circuit breaker. But when I do that I'll be able to engage my yaw damper, my autopilot will come back and I can go back to my LNAV 
and I'll turn us to a heading to intercept that again because we're a little off course. Like I said, pilot flying must always fly the airplane. Pilot monitoring is the one that can be doing all of this. And that is a DADC miscompare. Hey everybody, if you got something out of the video, please like it, subscribe to it, tell your friends about it, you know, all that stuff. Have a great day. Bye.